So if you hear some background noise, it's, it's just my friend on the phone. Um, so my name is uh, Ryan Kramer, and I have autism and bipolar and all this other stuff. And I might start it a little bit. So let's get to this video. I was watching a movie. I was watching a movie um, um, about about a true story about about some some kids in foster care get, getting abused by their by their by their family by by their foster care family and 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 not be treated right and stuff. So, so now you're asking, now you're asking the question, why am I bringing this up? And it's because I think, I think it's, I think it's good to, 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 to ask yourselves when we are an adult, when, when we are, when we, when we are teenagers, to 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 amongst each other, amongst our friends, amongst our families, amongst our our people in group, or or people at school, or or, or just talking amongst the teachers and in class, and we should always bring this up. We should always bring up what what is what do we want to do in life? How what how do we want to help the world out? Because in this movie, Denzel played a character where he, he helped this, 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 this um, guy that was being abused by his foster family to, to be at ease about the situation and how to make the good out of it instead of the bad and, and help him find his real family. And so we should ask ourselves, how are we going to help out the world out. How we can make a difference in this world. And I'm not bringing politics in this. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, how do we help the world out? And I think one of the questions is we ask each other is, is even the smallest task in the world? If you see, if you see an old person that needs the door to be open because they, because they can't open the door themselves, open the door for them. If it, if you know what the person is saying, because you speak sign language, but the person next to them who they're trying to talk to do not know how to speak sign language, tell them what they're saying. You know, my grandma says to me all the time. She she says, "Well, I'm gonna learn sign language." But none of us, none of us people in our family except two know sign language, and that's because. The only way sign language works is if the other person knows sign language as well. So when I, so what we should ask each other in class in, in all parts of life is is just wake up one morning and say, "What's make a difference?" Even if it's the smallest thing in the world, even if it's the tiniest crumb or the tiniest crumb to the big to the big bulldozer, help help your community out, help one another. Even even if it's the even if it's way out of your way to help this person out. Even if you know and, and we also ask ourselves bowl, bowling is getting worse. Like like kids are teasing another kid a lot, getting worse. And the, and one of the one of the other videos I was talking about in the past in the past week is how this true story about this person that bullied and and had this person almost commit su tried suicide and lived but she realized how bad she was being and that's where it gets wrong is that some people don't realize how bad they are and some teachers won't do anything about it and, and but that's okay we need as as a student as any part in the world, even if it's a small, even if it's to a baby, to a to a seventy-year-old woman or man, whoever you are in the world, even if you you need to you need to be 
You need to be kind. You need to you need to save the day. Not you don't have to save the day, but try to save the day. Try to make it so it's nice to to to, to one another. Try to make it so that person doesn't feel bad and be their extra for for them. If someone's need help with groceries, help them with groceries. It doesn't have to, it can be doing something like if you're a plumber or electrician or, or you just, you can just help someone out by being their friend. And the more you help people out in the world, the more you're going to feel good inside. And when you feel good inside, you're going to help, it could be helping that person survive one day because, because they were feeling so bad inside that they wanted to go home and, and destroy their life. But because you helped them out, they actually want to survive. They actually want to, to, to survive in the world. They're actually gonna wake up and go home and say, wow, that person helped me, changed my life, changed my day, it actually helped my day. So, bring up the conversation with your friends, your family, wherever you are in the community, in school, Whatever setting you are in, if it's more than one person next to you, ask yourself, start the conversation and work anywhere, how to help the community and the world out. The more we do this, the better the world's going to be. Okay, this is Ryan Kramer. Peace. Peace out. And the weather was hot, but... Right now, the weather's like really good right now. It's, it's almost perfect. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's almost perfect. And I, um, I hope you like this video because it's, 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 it's the, it's the best, it's the best one, one yet.